Hi students, it's Shayna from EspressoEnglish.net and today we're going to learn some very practical phrases that native English speakers use for making invitations and responding to them. Whether you want to accept the invitation, say yes, or decline the invitation, say no. When you know the phrases that native English speakers use, then you can use them confidently without worrying if your English sounds strange or wrong. And that's why I created the Everyday English Speaking Courses to help you learn real phrases and expressions for daily life. Click on the link in the video description for more information and to join those courses. There are actually two levels. Level 1 focuses on more practical English for everyday situations and Level 2 focuses on more advanced expressions used in conversation. Okay, first let's learn how to make an invitation, how to invite someone to do something with you. We can start by asking the other person about their availability using these phrases. Are you doing anything this weekend? Are you busy on Friday? Are you free tomorrow afternoon? When speaking fast, note that we don't say, are you? It sounds more like, are you? If you ask one of the first two, are you doing anything or are you busy? and the person says no, that means they're available because they have no other plans. But if you ask the last one, are you free, then the person saying yes would mean they're available. Then you can make your invitation using one of these phrases. Would you like to is used for a more formal invitation. For example, would you like to join me for lunch? Would you like to see a movie tomorrow night? Again, notice that we don't pronounce each word distinctly. Would you like to? Instead, it sounds more like, would you like to? Want to or do you want to are used to invite someone more informally, like an invitation to a friend. Again, when speaking fast, these sound like wanna and do you wanna? For example, wanna go hiking on Saturday? Do you wanna grab a coffee after class? Now let's learn some phrases for responding to an invitation. To say yes, you could use one of these phrases. I'd love to. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds great. If you want to say no, you could say, I'd love to, but I have other plans. I don't think I can. I'm really sorry, but I have to pick up my kids from school. Wish I could make it, but I've got another commitment that day. Saying wish I could make it means I wish I could come. What if you're not sure whether or not you can accept? Here are a couple phrases for that. Let me check my calendar. Can I get back to you on that? I've got to check with my husband, wife, or parents. To get back to someone means to give them an answer later. If you want to say no, but express the hope that the person will invite you again in the future, you can say, I'll have to take a rain check, or maybe another time. Okay, now that you know some natural sounding phrases for making invitations and responding to them, you don't have to feel nervous or awkward about speaking English in this situation. And when you join my Everyday English Speaking courses, you'll be even better equipped for many different situations from shopping to traveling to socializing and more. Thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you next week.